Okay, I just wanted to showcase these uh, traction monsters today. It's the 24th of March, 2006. About 5, almost 4.30 p.m. Okay, here's a steep incline. I've got about a foot, foot and a half of snow left. Some places drifts three feet deep. It was actually about three foot deep here on the right hand side and maybe a little bit less than that on the left hand side but uh, with the addition of the traction monsters I was able to drive right up this. I must say it's very difficult to even walk up a bit, walk up this. It's a uh, very very slippery snow. If you let your tracks rotate and spin it creates glaze ice, which is many times more slippery than ice that would normally set up on a flat surface on the road, for instance. But uh, just wanted to display what we've got here. You've got four paw drive, it doesn't matter to you. Here we go. <clears throat> okay, so for instance, we can see what this does. <clears throat> Pretty deep snow here. And this machine would not have a chance to get up here without these traction monsters in place. And this is the prototype version, which may not be all that much more different than uh, my production version. The main difference on the production version will be a much harder chain of greater tensile strength and hardness. This is only a grade 30 chain that I had. This is three quarter inch length. Um, pretty heavy duty. Gives you the, these are extreme in terms of the height of the grouser effect that it creates. And I've got five per track here. And uh, I was pretty frustrated this winter when I didn't, when I first came out with this machine. I thought, lo and behold, it's got a polar bear on the side of it. It'll do fantastic in the snow since it has very wide tracks. This thing weighs about 11,000 pounds. But it would just not, you know, I would get it out in the driveway here and it would just go anywhere gravity would pull it. It had absolutely no traction. It was very unsafe, especially in my driveway. You can go off the side real easy and drop down about 50, 60 feet down um, or more so these have been holding up extremely well they've got about uh, 25, 30 hours on them so far in the early stages of prototyping I've learned enough about them to get to the point where I'm confident I can produce very long living, highly wear resistant uh, product which will also provide more life for the rubber track itself because if you think about it the less spinning that occurs the less wear and as you can see this track has been worn in quite a bit before I put these on because I was spinning the track so much so that I, I just wasn't getting anywhere. I was actually literally burning rubber smoke. I was smoking the tracks. What's unique about this machine is that I get 180 degree engagement of the track to the cog cog drive system. Plus I do have a little bit of an articulating bogey wheel system. So it does very much so contort to the contort and to the contours of the ground and terrain which enable it to provide a very nice cushy ride and very good traction um, especially with these traction monsters which enabled me to do work today that I would not have been able to do otherwise I would have had to wait until the snow was either cleared manually or I might have been able to back drag the snow out of here and push it off to the side but then I would have messed up my grading work so anyway Thanks to the traction monsters, I was able to get up here and get to my attachments and commence operations for today. That's it.